So, how was it working on the show? Like, this is a little different from Awkward. Both are very much about, like, the teenage experience, the being young. Like, were you, like, a weird kid growing up? No. <laughs> I mean, yes. I mean, we're all, I mean, how, how can I say if I'm weird or not? Yeah, of course. I'm a total, um, I guess, weird in the relative way that any kid who's super creative and can make fun of themselves and um, I'm incredibly in touch with my goofy side and I, and I you know, I don't give a fuck. So there's that. Um, sorry, I probably can't say that. Um, Awkward was a love letter to my 15 year old self and On My Block was born from the pain of leaving that show. Um, you know, I left that show prematurely out of, you know, a lot of uh, for self-preservation because the business is rough and that show was really rough. Um, and uh, I had this, I had a, a, an evening where a friend called who had worked on the show two years after I left the show and said, did you ever see all of the tribute videos that kids made from your season three finale, which was my series finale? I said no, and I went online and I watched all of these videos of kids who were recreating scenes that I had written, and all the kids weren't white. And I cried and thought, I have to do something for these kids who don't see themselves. And I have to do it the right way. I have to do it with total and complete authenticity and full representation. And that means making sure that this is not coming through some whitewashed prism, but it's coming from my heart and with my heart with the kids who really have experienced it. So our writer's room is incredibly inclusive, representative of what the show is. And with that, lifting people up who do not have opportunity to break into this business. Um, and uh, I think that's one of the biggest differences between Awkward and this show is it was by design meant to be incredibly inclusive and, oh, and to shine a light on kids who are heroes that don't get to be seen as heroes all the time. Wow, that was like incredibly heartfelt and I'm starting to cry. <laughs> I cry all the time. This has been the most transformative experience of my career. One of the best things I've ever done in my life. Um, these people have made, have seen me more than I've ever been seen in my entire life. Um, it's like, you know, it's an incredible experience to work on the show and I feel so privileged. You did a fantastic job. Thank you. So, what family member of yours had the best reaction after they saw the first season? Oh, God. Um, you know, in terms of my family, my brother. He doesn't like much of what I do, and he loved the show. And, uh, and he was so proud, and I felt so proud that my older brother loved the show so much. And then what character do you most identify with? Well, I'm Monse. <laughs> I'm not totally Monse, but I'm the most like Monse. And Jeremy is like Jamal, and Eddie is Ruby. So we all kind of identified as we were creating the show with one of the characters. And then if you could bring one character over from Awkward, who would it be? The world? Oh, God. Um, who would it be? Um, God, that's such a good question. I would bring Ming. Ming. Yeah. Ming didn't get her fair due. So uh, she didn't get her, her exit in the way I would have written an exit for her. So I um, And I love the actress Jessica Liu. I think she's incredible. Um, I would bring her over. She would know how to party with these kids. Yeah. And then if you could have a crossover with any other Netflix show. Ooh, that's really a good idea. Um, what would we do? Um, oh, God, this is great. With, with, with Mindhunter. On my block and Mindhunter would be really interesting. Just like, who shot Ruby? Right. Or like, who... <laughs> having the kids help them track a serial killer would be really interesting. Right? It would be like Scooby-Doo. Yeah, totally. All right. Let's call Ted up and then get... Yeah. Oh, be really yeah. interesting, right? Um, and I would love to work with David Fincher. That would be fun. Um, All right, and I think I think we've got something planning. We'll we'll have to cut here and then talk more. After. Okay. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much.